by AC Designs. I'm tracking a little bit of shower activity out there late this evening, starting with the coast. You can see more rain on the way to our coastal areas, especially south of Ponte Vedra, and that's where we're starting to see a few of these showers make their way on shore. We've also been watching light shower activity in our western areas as well. We expect that to continue overnight tonight. Temperatures right now sitting on either side of 60 degrees. It's still breezy out there for a lot of you at NAS. Jacks 14 miles an hour, 20 at Mayport and gusts even stronger than that at times. Now when we take a look at gusts in the coming days, we expect the wind to increase. Look at this. This is a look at Tuesday gusts up to around 30 plus miles an hour along the coast, and that could continue on Wednesday and increase into our Thursday as well. So we have increasing wind and increasing rain chances. We expect high tides to be around two feet above normal. And when we have the high tides and the heavy rain that we're expecting Wednesday and Thursday, that could lead to some drainage issues. So we'll keep a close eye on the possibility of some flooding. We're also looking at other coast alerts a high surf advisory until 7 o'clock on Tuesday tomorrow and there's a small craft advisory that goes until 4 a.m. on Friday. So overnight tonight cloudy with some passing showers lows on either side of 60 degrees and then on Tuesday staying on either side of 70 degrees for our highs, increasing rain chances, especially from the south. So watch with me here. This is our future radar overnight. Again, just as passing showers, especially moving on the coast, that's going to pick up tomorrow morning and then slowly lift north throughout the afternoon hours on Tuesday. This will continue to be off and on. The rain will continue to be off and on Tuesday night into Wednesday. We're expecting more widespread rain on Wednesday and that will stick around into our Thursday. And again, this rain could be heavy at times. You absolutely do not want to forget your umbrella, especially Wednesday and Thursday. And that's when we think we have the highest chance of rain and then that will start to fall back on Friday. But when all is said and done over the next five days, we could have one to three inches of rain with locally higher amounts, depending on who gets that heaviest rain. But the good news is again that we do start to dry out on Friday and into Saturday with a cold front. So in time for nights of lights on Saturday, light up night temperatures staying in the 70s, dropping down into the 60s, but we do expect it to be dry in the tropics. There's a high chance of our next tropical depression forming. It is not a threat to the first coast. It's going to move off to the northeast, but places like Jamaica, the Dominican Republic, they will have to keep an eye on this system. You will too if you have any interests or vacations planned in the Caribbean, but here along the first coast, no tropical threats. We'll keep an eye on increasing rain chances and heavy rain, especially Wednesday and Thursday. Thank you, Lee.